Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Rick with Diesel and Iron. Glad you're tuning in. Glad you're back. And welcome as we still are continuing talking about operating costs. Today we're going to get a little bit more specific about it. Um, we're going to actually talk about mobilization. Again, we have a bunch of categories in this, so we're going to start just kind of breaking it down and we're going to start with the employer side and we'll also kind of relate to some of the employee side per conversation. Again, if you guys ever have any conversations that you want us to get into, talk about, please reach out, let us know, drop a comment, shoot us a message. That's what we're here for guys, to help you and to help other business owners, other employees advance their career and let you understand the big scary elephant in the room about this industry. It's a lot of fun, I promise you. I enjoy it, I've had a great career at it. I've been doing this for I believe 21 or 22 years now. I started at the age seven. Here we are, still having fun, still learning. Here we go. Uh, mobilization, guys. So mobilization, what is mobilization? How much does it cost to mobilize from point A to point B? Brian and I, we're gonna go, we're gonna go 100 miles today. How much does it cost? Well, let's do some quick simple math here and I'm going to use a little scratch pad as I am going to do this organically too. Brian makes $20 an hour. Rick, myself, I make $20 an hour. We start at 7 a.m. We're going to mobilize. We're going to load up our hand tools. We're going to go 100 miles. I don't know, 60 miles. Let's just say it's one hour. All right. So here we are, guys. $40 per hour is the burn rate, right? for the hourly cost. We're gonna mobilize back from the job, right? Because you got one way, you gotta get back. There's another $40, correct? It's 80 bucks, guys. Now, let's just say traffic got a little heavy. Let's say Brian had to stop and get a couple of Snicker bars today. Or maybe one of us had to stop and use the restroom because Everybody seems to go to the bathroom on company time, not on their own time, right? So let's be realistic here. Whether you're an employer or employee, we're at $80. Let's just round that up to 100 bucks, right? So two hours, two guys, we're just going to make that $100. That mobilization cost just cost me $100. Every $100 cost me $15 in work comp, remember that. So that mobilization just cost me $115 to move two guys, point A, point B. Now, let's say the truck is a $500 monthly payment. You have 500 bucks, right? Now we're just gonna go by weeks. I don't go by 30 days, we're just gonna say there's four weeks. Well, if you do 250, right? 250 would get you what, two weeks? So we're gonna do 500 divided by four, that's $125 a week. 125, we're gonna divide that by five. That's $25 a day for the pickup, right? <clears throat> then you got insurance on it. I don't know what the heck the insurance costs. Let's just say you got phenomenal credit and it's $1,000 for the year. Might be a little bit more than that. We're gonna do that by Michigan. I have eight months up here. Everything we're going to do is eight months. So that costs me $125 a month. Okay. We're going to divide that by four. That costs me $31.25 a week. Now I'm going to take that $31.25, guys, and I'm going to divide that by five days. That starts bringing my cost down to $6.25 a day. So $6.25 a day plus the $25 a day for my truck. That pickup truck costs $31.25 a day. Okay. So $115 was the cost to get Rick and Brian plus $31.25. That's $146. 25 cents a day. Mobilization, right? How much did it cost you in fuel? Well, let's just say 
we're not the fastest drivers here in Michigan. Let's just say it's 60 miles each way. It's 120 miles. Okay. 120 miles, and that truck's probably going to get, uh, let's go to go conservative and hope that everyone's getting 11 miles a gallon. Okay. How many gallons did you use, guys? We're just going to say it was 11. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 120 miles, 60 each way. I'm going to divide that by 11 miles a gallon. I used 11 gallons in that trip. Well, today diesel fuel hovering right around $4.11, I believe. Let's see what that is. So 11 times 4.11, $45.21. Are you getting the hang of what cost is yet? There's a lot that goes into this, right? So we're just going to call that fuel. Now, you got oil change in there, right? I run our pickup trucks right around 5,000 miles. So let's just do break this down real quick, guys. Hundred, Let's do 5,000 miles. We're going to do a day. So let's just average 120, 120 miles a day. That's 41, mi or 41 days until you need an oil change, right? As we're talking, guys, I, I'm sitting here. I'm writing this down. I hope you're following along and writing it down too. Even where you get to back up and kind of start following along, breaking this down, guys. So every 41 days, I need to do an oil change. How much does an oil change cost? Pickup truck. You got your filters. You got your oil. You got to dispose of it. You got to drive to the store. You got to turn around, bring it back. You got to go drop the oil off. So let's just say all in 120 bucks, right? Well, 120 bucks divided by 41 days, $2.92 a day is your cost. You see how this adds up? What's your cost? All right, guys. So let's reiterate our mobilization. Rick and Brian, stop get coffee, candy bar, whatever. $20 an hour per employee is what it costs. Right? We got $20 going there, $20 coming back. That's $40 per employee. So that's $80 for two guys to go there and back. Point A, point B. Work comp. So let's add that up. Let's round it up to 100 because everyone's going to stop like we talked about. Let's add the 15 bucks into it again. That's $115. Now, our pickup truck. We already went over the monthly payment. We already broke that down. We already broke that down to $25 a day. Then we had the insurance of $6.25. That adds up to $31.25 per day. So when I figure things out, I'm going to go by the week. I use four weeks per month. And I know some months it runs over where it's five extra Fridays and stuff. And that's great for business employees and catching your paycheck. But you have to figure out, I always go off of just four weeks every month. That's how I always just look at my work, okay? So that's thirty-one twenty-five. That adds up to our mobilization, guys, of $146.25. Now you add that fuel in. It's $45.21, right? You got your oil change. It costs you $2.92 a day. That's $193.75 per day. For that one pickup truck to go back and forth. That's your mobilization. That's the stuff that business owners and entrepreneurs and employees need to understand. When you go to work for somebody, <clears throat> there's a cost. You're not there just to get your wage. And you're not there just to rag on the pickup trucks, right? The harder you are on the equipment, the more it costs a business owner. So if you're constantly breaking his equipment, or you're twisting drive shafts or burnouts or doing some cool TikTok videos just to get one more viral to go crazy, right? But yet at the same time, you're asking the business employer, your boss, for a couple dollar an hour raise or I'll leave. That's not, that's not how this works. You have to maintain this equipment, guys. You maintain it. The longer these trucks work, the cheaper it is for employers to operate. 
the cost goes down the more it gets used. That in turn gets you and I a pay raise. All right, that means I will spread the wealth out with you even more. You know, whether you want the health insurance, maybe I cover it. Maybe I, I pay part of it being an employer. Maybe that's what is what you want, right? Maybe you're looking for some paid time off. We call it PTO. There's nothing wrong with PTO and getting some holidays paid for, but you have to realize the cost. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about mobilization for heavy equipment. What's the cost? You can't dive into this industry not knowing what the cost is. <clears throat> a low boy up here, I believe we're at $165 an hour, right? With a four hour minimum up in Michigan anymore. So let's do some math, guys. We're going to do $165 an hour with a four hour minimum charge to move that piece of equipment. Now, obviously, if you own the equipment, you might be able to move it cheaper. If you own the truck and trailer and the insurance and you do the maintenance and the tires and we'll break down that category another day. But let's just talk about hiring a low boy driver. It's quick math. 165 times four, $660 or what it costs you to move one piece of equipment one way. Unless you have like a mini skid steer and you got a full size skid steer or you have a mini excavator or a bulldozer, maybe you could carry two machines on one trailer, you're saving a trip charge. Okay, that's $660. You gotta get it back too, right? What goes out of the yard has to come back to the yard. So how much is it? That's $1,320. Some of you guys are already ahead of me. All right, $1,000. $320 of what it costs you to move. Let's just say one machine, a couple machines, maybe some trench boxes and a stone box. Maybe you're moving some pipe. Well, how many hours does it take for that low boy to go to and from the job? If it's a two hour trip, they charge you two hours to go there. They charge you two hours to go back. That's $660. Or what happened if it's a half hour trip? Now you still got load time, unload time. What happened if it's a half hour and you know, let's just figure 15 minutes, you got 45 minutes into one mobilization one way and then you come back and it burns, let's just say an hour and a half. Well, you still got, you know, let's just call it two hours left of actual mobilization because it's going to get eaten, the other stuff's going to get eaten up load time, unload time. Now you're kind of getting your money's worth out of $660 and you're moving some equipment. So this is the decisions that you kind of start making. Well, how much mobilization do am I paying to move equipment? How much is it costing me for this machine to move back and forth? Maybe you're a smaller business owner operator or you're an employee and you have a CDL and you walk up to the boss man and you say, Hey boss, I'm, I'm making $20 an hour. I have a CDL. I would really like to drive truck. You know, I could drive a dump truck. I have my class A CDL or class B, depending on where you're at and what you're pulling. If you go buy a, a truck, I could haul the machine to and from the job or maybe a little material. Well, that would save $660 for a four hour minimum because they already have to get there to the job. So let's just play that scenario out real quick, okay? Again, we're going to stick with the uh, Rick and Brian make $20 an hour. We're both going to ride in a five yard dump truck. Maybe it's a tandem, maybe a 10 yard up here in Michigan. Let's get a little wild here. What's our cost? Well, we already know from the mobilization before it's $115 for both of us to go point A, point B. So let's kind of, let's just kind of dive into that. Let's say we bought a dump truck for 10, 10,000, right? You can find a pretty decent dump truck for 10,000. And let's say we're going to pay that off in two years. All right. So 10,000 divided by what? 24 months is going to cost us being an employer. And, th and this also helps you guys being an employee understand your costs because this also relates down to what's it cost you with your personal vehicle. If you have a payment, if you own it outright, if you have insurance, diesel, gas how much does it cost you figure out your mileage guys this is this is all just life basic math skills 
I still do everything paper and pencil. You have to know your costs, your insurance, your maintenance, your tires, right? So let's just say it's going to cost us $476 a month. Let's just say the insurance is a thousand dollars a year for this truck. Then your liabilities a thousand. So you got comprehensive and then you got liability. And then I believe the plates up here for something like that is $2,500. One truck, for example, $4,500. It's shocking, right? Shocking. Now we're going to go $4,500 is for that insurance. We're going to take that. We're going to divide that by 12. So the real cost per month is $375. Up here in Michigan though, let's say we're only doing seasonal. We only work eight months. We take four months off to work on our stuff. Maybe you plow snow, whatever, to kind of stop the bleeding. That's another conversation. But let's just say that $4,500 for the year, we do that in eight months. Our cost is $562.50 for the month. Eight months. We make all our money in eight months up here. Okay, how much does it cost you? Well, let's get down to the month. For the one dump truck, it cost me $476 per month plus that insurance, $562.50. For that truck to be on the road, guys, is a thousand bucks. $1,008.50 to get exact. That's a lot of money. That's a mortgage. Now, I hope being an employee driving these trucks, you start, you start to understand the cost. Now we have maintenance that has to go into this thing. So let's just say, quick math, it's $1,000 just for the payment of the truck, okay? Now, how much does it cost maintenance? I don't know. We do like 30,000 a year between two trucks, divided by eight, divided by two. It's probably a little overkill for a 10 yarder. Let's just say $650. Let's just make a number up. $650 for the month is what it costs us. Well, how do you how do you figure that? Well, you got tires, oil, grease, maybe a broken spring, the tree branch that hits the window, the mirror that busts off. Oh, don't forget about those DOT cops that pull you over and check it out. Make sure your stuff's up the code. And then you got to pay your employees to sit there while you're going through a full blown inspection. Let alone if the truck gets uh, red tagged, put out of service. Now you got to get the guys home, get a mechanic, or you have to go fix it or get it towed. There's costs in it all. Unforeseen costs. What if the number six cylinder goes? You know, what if uh, it needs injectors? I had, a re I had a radiator replaced, a fifth wheel before. Um, we just put some new tires on a semi and the front drives on the driver's side and the bolts come loose. We didn't lose the duels. But apparently the air gun is getting old and didn't lock those tires down after 5,000 miles and it just ate two rims. That's the cost. That's the, that's the interesting part. So let's go back. $1,008. It's for the payment for the month. $650 is the maintenance. That's $1,658 a month. Now let's divide that by four. That's $414.50 per week. You're getting it. I know you are. Now let's just say $414.50. We're going to divide that by five. $82.90. It's kind of shocking. That's what it costs you. $82.90. That's per day. Okay. So $82.90. And we're going to go, hey, let's add that $115 for the wage for Rick and Brian to get back and forth. Now, it's $197.90. Well, we're driving 120 miles a day in that dump truck. She don't get good fuel mileage. Let's say she gets about five miles, maybe six. Let's do six. 120 miles divided by six. That's... 20 miles per gallon. How much is diesel fuel? $4.11. Now, guys, diesel fuel is going to cost me $82.20 per day. So let's add these up. All right, we got $82.90 for the labor, $119.90 for the truck for the day. That's fuel. 
or sorry, that's not fuel, I misspoke. That's insurance, maintenance, and a payment. Okay, and then we got the diesel fuel for the day. That's $285 per day. That's a lot of money. But now you can move a machine, maybe haul some gravel. Maybe you pull the excavator to the job and you want to take the skid steer to a different job. And we could do that an hour there and an hour back. Maybe it takes you a couple hours. So you could kind of see how this all changes. And it's just some math. It's simple math, guys, right here on a piece of paper that you could do. Whether you're an employee or employer, time. There's a cost for time. There's a cost being employee and employer. So the difference, guys, $285 a day is what it costs you to get the two guys there and back and be able to pull a machine. Well, let's say two days. Let's say we're going to start off with a skid steer the first day or maybe a trencher's on there with the skid steer and we're going to throw some silt fence in and then we're going to backfill it and maybe kind of get a couple boulders and throw them around or I don't know, got the brush hog on, you're going to knock some weeds around and then tomorrow you could bring the excavator or the bulldozer, right? So two hours there, two hours each day. That's four hours. Cost you $660 to use that low boy. Well, now if we got 285 and you just got two days out of it, that's $570. Two days. Let's say you move that trencher and the brush hog with the skid steer, and then the next day you use the excavator. Maybe all that would fit on a low boy. Maybe it wouldn't. Okay, depending on the capability of your trucks and trailers but still let's just say what's the savings if you don't use that low boy well that's ninety dollars every two days it's ninety dollars well ninety plus ninety plus forty five let's say you use that low boy and you paid those guys every day that's a savings of two hundred and twenty five dollars a week ninety dollars every day or every two days, I'm sorry. $45 a day is your savings. That's a lot of money. Well guys, I hope we just basically covered mobilization. If there's any questions, you got any comments, drop them below. If there's anything you wanna go over and talk about, please reach out. These could go very deep and in depth where they could stay very shallow and light. It's up to you guys. Um, we got kind of agenda, we'll run it and we'll see where it goes. We'll catch you guys next time on Diesel and Iron.